I think they've just nailed it, having the opportunity of one pool but a number of different waves so it doesn't get stale. You can mix it up and flex rights the whole lot. So it's, um, yeah, it's a really good facility. great to be up there during August and it was just better. I saw it fresh and clean and the waves seemed better. They'd done, they done some work on it. It just seems to get better every time. Being a surfer and seeing a good wave, I mean, that's, you know, that's a holy grail. The one wave spreads out in a circle and, and it's going to all these different breaks and you can't keep your eye on watching all these different breaks break. There's a crazy slabbing pit there, there's a perfect peak there, and then there's another like trestle spun wave over there, and you're like, you're trying to see what each wave's doing and you can't keep your eyes on all of them. When someone sees it that hasn't seen it yet, the look on their face is just wild. I was up there with Surfing Life shooting the, their board test. Initial thoughts, would it maybe be a little bit gutless? You never know how powerful a machine made wave is going to be and that was pretty quickly destroyed. It turned out to be pretty powerful and yeah, solid. It was awesome just to have such a perfect canvas of the same wave breaking over and over to test such a different array of boards that you had that same comparison for each and you could really feel out the little nuances of every craft because you're on the same wave over and over. Felt good just to kind of get back in the groove, but I just want to watch Stingo because he's telling me that he's getting barreled on the right on the island and we thought it was unmakeable, they've changed it. And now he's right, he's making it and I want to see it with my own eyes right now. <laughs> I really want to see if it was doable because I don't think anyone really made a wave. And I think Jay, oh, you know, he tried before, but um, I think he might have broke his board or something happened. You know, I, I think the first wave I went over, and then I kind of seen where I needed to sit, you know, and then just had a ball all day. I wasn't like, having to go up the slab because last time I was there I, I hit the ground pretty hard so I just wanted to see if it was possible to make and I seen Dingo get a nuts crazy one and that just got me so amped to go try it. The whole process of it paddling out and then sitting in the lineup and then just seeing this like something out of uh, uh, out of Waterworld and just get these perfect lines that hit, hit that bit of concrete, unreal. You know, I'm just trying to position myself and make sure I'm in the right spot. I didn't make a fair few of them, but the ones I did, I was uh, yeah, I was stoked because like making an unreal wave in the you know in the ocean.
It's sick to see Luca surf the wave pool. She's a really good male rider, and it's, it's really good to see, like, the pool is good for male riders as well. It's amazing surfing the ride on Dad's Peak. Um, yeah, I know, I love Dad's ride. It's like a perfect barrel into like really nice coping for turns, so it's a sick wave. Jay's coming along. The best thing that's actually happened with him too, apart from splitting the peak, he's working on his back end there, so we don't get a lot of lefts on the Gold Coast. And um, he's learning his barrel riding on the left, and he's been, um, it's progressing great. And um, to have that is just like, oh, you know, it's um, priceless, really. It's utopia for surfers. The barrel on Oki's Peak, it's longer than what you think. You, you think it's just going to be a novelty type barrel where you take off and it's so quick and you come straight out. Whereas the way it barrels at Oki's Peak, it's like pull in off the takeoff and you can slow down and then it speeds up so you, you kind of can pump in it and then you go high as it curls down and then you come out. So it's like you're riding a proper tube then, it, it feels like. I could do that for days and days and days on end and absolutely love it. It was pretty crazy seeing a machine like that make waves for the first time. Um, it looked like something out of a movie. There was so much happening, but um, it was pretty cool to see something like that in Australia. First set that came through, I uh, completely missed the wave, just being too far out. Sheldon was on the second wave and I was on the third, and we were totally out of position. And yeah, we, he missed the first one, and then I let him go my one. It stands up pretty awesome from the takeoff and kind of holds its shape all the way through. It throws pretty nice, so I could try a few fin throws, and because um, it has so much power right there, I didn't feel like I had to pump or generate too much speed, obviously. Like, from where I took off, I was kind of had enough speed to attempt what I wanted to do. It's actually really amazing. The first two sections are, like, proper sections you'd see in the ocean. It was. I'm pretty tall, so that I was like probably my main concern going there if I was going to be able to actually hit the section with speed and um, definitely exceeded my expectations there. Yeah, so you know, we were surfing all day um, on Oki's Peak and uh, the slab left. Yeah. <laughs> a lot bigger waves, but your adrenaline's really high. It's really shallow there. It's really um, intimidating. It's as heavy as any wave at that size that I've ever surfed. A lot of like other pools, they don't have that ocean slab feeling. Like they have these barrels, but they're not quite. They're not like that one. That one, you're really your heart's racing. You're paddling in. You're, you're paddling hard because you want to make that drop. It's really similar to you know a little chopu or something. I dragged up the courage to go over there and uh, Kobe had been getting good barrels. Like I think it took him about 15 to, to get it wired. Um, a lot of wipeouts. He nailed it and I'm like, oh, I've got to go try it. So uh, I think it was the very first wave I paddled and pulled back and I'm like, oh no, didn't look possible. And then the next one I just dug in and made the takeoff and got really nicely slotted. And the feeling after that was like a new wave had been found. Yeah, the island or the, or the slab, it's uh, crazy. It's so much power condensed into such a short amount of time. It's just all positioning, basically. I had damaged a few boards, broke one, and knocked the fins out of another. If you, if you fall wrong, you could probably get pretty belted up. You know, it's kind of the risk versus reward. If you if you pull it all off, it's, uh, it's a pretty crazy feeling. It uh, kind of reminded me a lot of, I guess, Behind the Rock Snapper. Um, because it does just drop out from underneath you and it's basically your positioning, but I guess no one on the shoulder to kind of burn you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'd seen the 
seen the slab detonating over in the in the corner while I was surfing the left all day and it's such a high energy little setup. It's um, really exciting and it doesn't get old. It's a pretty epic wave to have really pushy limits because even though it's in a controlled environment you can still get thrown around and I think back end you have that luxury of a little third point of contact grabbing the rail otherwise you just can be mid-air free falling and that helped me just grip down the wave and you can really kind of put your body into the wave to hold on like a bucking bull you've got a little extra point and yeah I couldn't believe how square and just glassy the tube was and I think it even spat it was um, definitely a pretty special moment. Jonah got barreled and came out, double claimed it, frothing, out of control, just to see the peel stoke, because he's just starting to ride the barrel. And that was the best barrel he's ever had. Uh, it was epic. So stoked for Jonah to see him get that wave. He was hyping it up, telling me that it was the best barrel of his life, but I wasn't going to believe him until I seen it. So when I finally seen it, I was definitely stoked for him. Like, he was, he's psyched on the pool as well, so it's nice to share that with my little brother.